Okay, yeah, looking good. Yeah, looking good. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, hey there. I didn't see you there. Uh, uh, you're a bit early. Um, let me just uh, hop on stream real quick and uh, finish up this area. I have completed a lot of this area. I added these little trees in to block off some of the sight lines so that uh, it it's a little bit slower to reveal the area. Yeah, come on along. I'll give you a tour too. Um, we got some lush grass here by the water with the reeds and we got this archway with a little rundown farm and a little dock, you know, just the little details, the little details. And then we got the grand reveal over from this side, um, or, oh, we lost you. Yeah, come back over this way. Come back over this way. Uh, we also, if you come straight over this way, the trees will block off a lot of these areas. You can kind of see the spider here. And then I do have a build planned for right here, but here is where you get to see a lot more of the portals here. And then coming around, this is where you get to see the spider. And so I really like playing around with the sight lines. It was a lot of fun. And then of course, as you come around the corner, you start to see the campsite, and then the big reveal of the base, which is currently upside down. <laughs> you guys, you guys, it has been a full year since I have been on this server, so I am going to do a quick tour of all the things that I have built. The spider is not one of them. <laughs> that was courtesy of Fuzzy. Earlier, I did show off all of the things that uh, I just added just now, but I will do a quick walkthrough of my little forest area. I am quite proud of this area. I would do things differently if I were to redo it, but yeah, I'm not tearing things down to redo this. But what I love about this area is it feels so very lush and it feels very full, which is kind of the what I was going for to make it feel very foresty. And here underneath the spider, we have the hole from whence the spider has come. Uh, it is not complete at all, uh, not even a well, I guess a little bit because I do have a couple things going. I got my smelter, which still needs to be fixed. I got uh, my five in one farm, which is the sugarcane, bamboo, the two types of vines, and the dripstone all in one. And then over here, I have got my pumpkin and melon farm actually completed, which is great. And right here, I have the area kind of started to set up my nano farms, but this is about as far as I got. I got a little bit of a walkway dug out and some space for my coarse fruit farm. And yeah, I have a, a little bit of a path down but I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of this water and uh, fix up the area still. And I have this area marked out for my lava farm and then I got my cactus farm, which is gonna be over there and my tree farm there at the bottom. So it's a work in progress, it's a work in progress. Not to mention all of the decorating I'm gonna have to eventually do in the area as well. And that's pretty much it except for uh, the cow farm and skulk farm that uh, that I just built wrong and doesn't work too well, but you know, it is what it is. Another thing that I made early on is the Bayou. Blue's Bayou Boardwalk. Just a little path that is traversable specifically by horse from my base over to spawn. So we got our uh, water buffalo over here. We got, we should have birds and stuff. I don't know what happened to all of them. But uh, yeah, I made a, added some mangrove to the area and some taller trees. And yeah, there, there are a couple holes in the boardwalk. So you do got to watch your step. <laughs> there are also frogs around here somewhere. Oh, I see it. Right there, and there's the birds. 
We also have an alligator over here. Uh, my, this is before I did any work with sculptures or anything. So, uh, yeah, it was just a fun little attempt at a crocodile. In the shopping district, we have my color tornado here with all of my stock for my shop. And we also have my other little shop over here of a, a sort of knickknack gift shop that uh, I haven't gotten too many sales from, but it was a lot of fun coming up with the idea for it. I also did these little foxes over here. Uh, the one is missing an ear, <laughs> but we won't talk about that. Playing a little too rough, perhaps. And then we have the marketplace that I uh, completed over here with all of the stands for all of the vegetables. And then over here we have our soaps and creams and then our flower stand and some nice picnic tables. And then of course we have the copycat. Very cute kitty cat on top of the copy machine. I also added a few decorations around spawn, like these little trees, and expanding a lot of the different decorations out, just to make the place feel a lot more pulled together. Added some benches, and also moved this map over here. Just a few little details here and there, adding to what was already done, just to kind of fill out the area a little bit better. Another big project that I worked on was Warden Capture the Flag. So down here we have the respawn area for the fire team. Fuzzy did the banners for the teams and they look absolutely amazing. This area looks amazing with shaders on. Uh, I really had spent a lot of time in this area and had a lot of fun making this as well as a lot of fun playing it. Speaking of which, we're gonna have to make sure we play this again sometime soon. Perhaps on stream. We've got a few skeletons here and there under the flakes which Gort did the amazing redstone for to have it randomized which skeletons come up and how many. And then of course we have our wardens here in the center. Oh, I'm too close. It's too dark. Right now they're fascinated by their little sound machine toy keeps them busy for most days. I am quite proud of this area and it's a really fun game to play as well. There are <laughs> quite a few heads around the place. Also did that massive prank on Gort, which was so much fun. It was amazing and it turned out all right. Uh, there were a few hiccups, but it was really good. Also, let's not forget all of the armor sand work I did here with the zombies at Fuzzy's place. I did it with Curtis Does a Dig and he taught me how to do the armor stand stuff. Also, I'm not saying I helped with the cat, but um, yeah, there it is. I also made this target game and I do still have an addition I still need to make. I'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. Speaking of unfinished projects, here we have the deep dark dash and yeah, it's definitely not completed yet. But we do have a couple tasks done and ready to go. Uh, just like a couple simple tasks that, you know, might make a little bit of noise here and there, a little bit of parkour over here. Um, and I have the rest of the, the little tasks to do over in that direction. But uh, the idea is uh, to not spawn a warden. Yeah, that's it, not spawning a warden. <laughs> huh, that 
that's where this stuff is. And I think that's pretty much it for what I've built besides this Christmas Elytra race. But there have also been so many fun things that I have done with other people and hung out along the way. I am going to do just a quick sort of run through of the Elytra course. It has been a little bit since I've done it. Uh, so I'm a little bit out of practice, but I'm not doing too bad here. <laughs> but this, man, this course is a lot of fun if I do say so myself. There we go. Oh, I did almost forget to show off. This is one of the very first builds that I made on the server as well uh, for the anniversary of the original four hitchhikers. Their one year anniversary was like just shortly after I had just joined. And so I had set up a little thing for them to go ahead and break the redstone and it would shoot off fireworks. Well, that is it for the tour of all of the things that I have made here on the Hitchhiker's server. I do have some really big plans, specifically a giant tree on top of the spider. And I also have some plans over here as well. You see, I've got them marked off. But I'm not gonna tell you what that's about. Mm -mm. You're gonna have to subscribe so that you can see what, uh, what I've got in store. I hope you liked this tour. If you did, do click that like button and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.